everybody, and welcome to the Philly Feud. This is going to be a great match tonight. We're trying to find out who knows most about Philly. Tonight we're focusing on golf, a sport everybody loves. We've assembled two very impressive groups, much involved with the growing game of golf in the region. Members of the Philly section PGA competing against the Golf Association of Philadelphia, GAP. And we'll hear about some of their initiatives and meet our players in a bit. It's a different type of competition for these guys. No handicaps, no mulligans. Natalie, very good, very good. Have you taken up the game of golf yet? Um, so I did the golf at uh, your outing, and I have a lot of work to do. I'm, okay. I'm the worst golfer in the. Oh, in the that's United why States. you have tremendous. I'm surrounded by good people. Tremendous resources tonight. Absolutely. And you got Top Golf right over there, so yep. we'll go over there. I'll go practice when I'm done. Hit some golf later. <laughs> now our two teams have big incentive tonight. The winners get a $100 gift certificate from my friends at Ventresca Limited, the men's store located in historic Doylestown, where you can shop for casual clothing, suits, shoes, and formal wear. It's my store. It's a shopping experience like no other. Or they'll get a $100 gift card from Eddie V's in King of Prussia where you can dine on the finest seafood and steaks, a great wine selection, the cards courtesy of our partners at Valley Forge Tourism. Now our winners also get a Hara coupon book, $25 free slot play or match play, $25 dining credit valid on a purchase of $50 or more, $10 valet voucher, always important, and one free hour of Top Golf. You got to meet these guys a little bit. I always ask you for the prediction, Sometimes you're right. Most of the yeah. time, a little shaky. I know. Well, who do you like tonight? I like uh, my uh, PGA guys over here. I've noticed something about you that you, you side with the blue team most of the time because you stand on that side doing the That could be why I don't really get to know the red yeah, team. I, so. I don't think it's very scientific. No. <laughs> but we hope you'll play along with us at home. You can check us out on Facebook at, and Twitter at Philly Feud to find out who's coming up on our show. Now, our teams tonight face off in four rounds. Normally, they'd be guessing the top answers to list about Philadelphia. But tonight, all of our questions will relate to golf. Correct answers are worth 10 points. Incorrect responses give the opponent a shot at the board, and then we'll go back and forth until all team members make an attempt or until the board is cleared. We finish with the lightning round. It can quickly change our score and the winner. That's worth 200 points. So let's start the Philly Feud. Let's bring up our captain, Jeff and Martin. All right, guys. Everybody knows each other. Friendly game here. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. All right. As ready as we can be. Here's the first question. According to golf.com, what are the five top golf terms you need to know? Jeff. Birdie. Birdie. Nobody, who gets birdies? You guys do. Now the average, is it on the board? No. I never heard of a birdie. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Jeff. <laughs> Go ahead, Martin. Tee box. Tee box, is that on the board? <laughs> yes, that's the number one answer on the board. All right, go ahead, Martin, you got total uh, control. Uh, putting green. Putting green. But, oh, there we go. All okay. right, it's, it's same close. thing. Same we're, thing. We're going to give it to you. We're very generous tonight. I appreciate right, that. Even, even though you know she picked the blue team, we're yeah, going to do our best to overcome it. That's why you have incentive. All right, keep going. You uh, bunker. Bunker. Bunker is not on the board. Nobody wants to think about a bunker. Brian. Um, the driving range. The driving range. Is that on the board? Not on the board. All right, Lindsay. This is fairly simple. I think maybe we're overcomplicating it here, Lynn. How about par? Par. Pa is par on the board? Par is not on the board. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't make the questions up, Lindsay. Go ahead, Eric. How about golf clubs? Golf clubs. Golf clubs on the board. Not on the board. Golf.com? So, really? Sorry, it's not, it's not on the board. We kind of sometimes get into this where, you know, uh, the, the most obvious answers don't come up immediately, but Mario, you've got it slayed. All right. How about Chip? Chip. There's Chip on the board. Since Pup was on the board, but it's not on the board, Mario. All right, Dan, last chance for your squad. I'm going to say four. Four. You yell four when the ball's coming towards somebody. Is four on the board? Not on the board. So <laughs> let's let's look at uh, let's look at the board here. Oh wait, we have one more. We have, we have more. I'm that's sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. We can we can move on if you'd like. No, that's okay, Mark. I didn't see you standing there. Go, go right ahead. Let's be honest. We we really don't know that much about golf, so I'm I'm gonna go halfway house. <laughs> halfway house. Is halfway house on the board? It's not on the board, Mark. All right. Let's see. What we have. These are simple. Number two is. Green. I'm gonna say green. Green. What is green. that? You guys, it's, you know, familiar, but number three is 
fairway. You guys stripe it all the time. You didn't think of fairway? And finally, number five, rough. All right, they're pretty normal terms. I'm learning here. But, but, I'm learning here. But Natalie, the, the boys and girls did not come up very big in that first round. They did not. So we have the blue team with a big goose egg zero, and the red team has 20. So still anybody's game. Very the red early. team up 20 to nothing. When we come back, we'll get to learn more about what's happening with the Philly Section PGA and Gap right here on the Philly Feud from the Book of Harris Philadelphia. Philly Feud is brought to you by Harris Philadelphia, where Philly comes out to play. It's a place that inspires the dreamers, the overachievers, a place for those who follow the path, as well as the ones who blaze them. So whether you want to go with the flow or rise above it all, Visit Bucks County and be inspired. Great lounge seats, high top tables, more than 45 large screen TVs. You can watch all your sports action live right here. Wager on all your favorites. It's a great new venue here at Harris. All right, it's time to learn more about our two teams. First, let's start with our blue team, the Philly section of the PGA. Jeff Surrett, PGA member, executive director of the Philadelphia PGA section. Grew up in Pensacola, New Jersey. Worked at Pensacola Country Club and Ed Oliver Golf Club in Wilmington, Delaware. Has been with the section for 16 years and has two boys, Jeffrey and Nick, and I assume they have a nice swing. They can move it a little bit, absolutely. Yep, they yep. enjoy playing the game. Son of a golfer always has a nice swing. Yeah, we get, I think they get, uh, they get labeled a little bit too early to be a good player, but you know, they're grinding through it. All right, well, good luck to you and good luck with Thank the you. boys. Thanks for being here, Jeff. All right, let's move on to Brian Schulte, originally from Lebanon, PA, graduate of Coastal Carolina University. Very nice down there at Coastal Carolina. Go, Sean. He's been with the section since 2007. Currently their tournament director, and when he isn't playing golf, he enjoys watching the Eagles and Phillies. Don't we all working out, tasting new craft beers, and traveling around the country? He's got a life of leisure. He is married to Jacqueline, four years. Welcome, Brian. Thanks, Mike. How was Coastal Carolina? Fantastic. Did it get cold there ever? Ah, uh, winter time a little bit, but still golfing weather. Yeah, I yeah. know. I'm so envious of you. Well, thanks, thanks for being here, Brian. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Right, let's move on to Eric Kennedy, the head golf professional at Overbrook Golf Club, where he has served admirably. For most of the past 12 years, Eric's career highlights include a tie 63rd at the 2019 Delaware Valley Open, and he claims he once saw Fuzzy Zeller in an airport. Really? Yeah. Big did, day. Did, did you say, hey, Fuzz? No. Oh, you didn't talk to him? I didn't have him? that kind of courage. All right. No. Anyway. Kendo is what his friends call him. He's a collector of vintage trophies. He's become an accomplished engraver. Now, Eric's lovely wife, Kelly, and his reimbunctious daughter, Emerson, could not be here tonight for fear of embarrassment. <laughs> and that first round sure showed that. Yeah. Fun fact, Eric is banned from speaking at any section meeting. What do you gabber? Uh, or offend people, one of the two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You take, you're taking it in stride, though, I do. Right? I do. I'm over Know it. thyself. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Eric. All right, let's move on to Dan Hoban. The head uh, professional, PGA professional, Middletown Country Club in Langhorne, PA. Coaches golf at his alma mater, Roman Catholic High School. Since 2003, he's been at Roman. He's a 1992 graduate of Roman, a three-time All-Catholic League golf selection. Welcome here, Dan. Thanks for having us, Mike. You a big hitter? No. You're not? No. I can, like hear my, I can hear my drives land. Okay. All right. We'll keep it straight. All right? We try to. Sounds good. Okay. Let's move over to our red team. Martin Emino has been with The Gap since 2001. He is the Director of Operations and Communications. I get emails from him all the time. You do a great you job, do. Marty. He's a University of Miami alum who is anxiously waiting a return to the glory days for the football program when the Canes crushed Penn State. 
but they didn't do it in 1986, and I wrote a book on it. I know. I'm aware. Called The Perfect Season, Martin. I wrote that for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> the Canes are never coming back. Yeah, it's a struggle right now. Struggle right. is real. Thanks for being here, Martin. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thanks for having us. Lindsay Myers, originally from Detroit. She doesn't understand this Philadelphia man this yet, I don't think. Uh, she knows a lot less about golf or Philadelphia than you might expect from someone who works for The Gap. What does that mean? It's short and sweet. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so how does Philadelphia compare to Detroit? Um, the weather's nicer. The food's yeah. better. Golf like courses it. are much better, right? Golf season is longer. Yeah, golf yeah, course. Thank, thanks for being here, Lindsay. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks. Mario Maki, GAP's Director of Member Services. He's in his 12th year with the association. He oversees the implementation of the handicap system, which means he has to field calls from my fellow club members who are protesting how many shots they need to give me. It happens. I, I, I require a lot of shots, Mario. <laughs> so do I. Let's, let's put that straight. <laughs> All right, thanks for being here. We yeah, appreciate it. What do, you, what do you have me down for right now? What, about a four? Whatever you need for us to win the game. <laughs> All right, let's go. Mark Peterson, he's a, the GAP executive director. He's been with GAP since starting as an intern in 1996. Mark played golf at Villanova, where he captained the team to their highest scoring average in recent school history. Nice, nicely done. It was a, it, well, remember, it's golf. It, it was the highest average, so maybe not the, <laughs> maybe not the best thing, but we had a heck of a time. Okay. Well, that, uh, <laughs> what, where's your home course, Villanova? I play at Waynesboro. Oh, Waynesboro. Yep. Oh, that's a nice course. It's Very a good nice spot. track. You know who's a great golfer? Carrie Kittles. There you go. That's right. He's, a, he's an excellent golfer Very. up there in North Jersey. Perfect. Villanova product. Very Th strong. Thanks for being here, Mark. <laughs> a useless fact for the people at home. All right. It's time for round two. Let's get Brian up here. Let's get Missy up here. As our score is 20 for the red, zero for the blue. All right, now again, remember, you guys don't have to crush this button. It's very touchy, feely. According to the friedegg.com, in the early 1900s, who were the group of architects known as the Philadelphia School who designed many of our area courses? Brian. Donald Ross has to be up there. Donald Ross is not up there, Brian. Sorry, Lindsay, who designed the Philadelphia courses here? Finley? Finley. First name? Alex. Alex Finley. Not on the board. Sorry. All right. Eric, you're all over this question. I am. We're going to go with uh, Flynn. William Flynn. Billy Flynn. <laughs> correct. William Flynn is correct. Uh, Tillinghast. A. W. Tillinghast. <laughs> yes. You're rolling, Eric. I really am. Three more to go. To me? To me. Not on the board. So Sorry, close. Eric. Mario. How about uh, George Crump? George Crump. The Crumps. <laughs> yes, George Crump is up there. All right. How about um, Wilson, Hugh Wilson? Hugh Wilson. Number one on the list, Mario. One left. This is an insult to me personally if you don't get this, but that's So I'm gonna say George Thomas. There you go. Nice, there you go. nice boot. Nice boot. George C. Thomas is correct. All right, Nat, good yeah. round that time. What Gr do we have now? Great round. So we have the blue team now with 20 and the red team with 50. 50? to 20. Yeah. Still a ball game. When we come back for round three, it's a question about our area golf courses. Right here on the Philly Field for the book at Harris, Philadelphia.
Mark and Harris, Philadelphia, where Philly loves to play. We're having some fun tonight talking golf with the Philly section of the PGA, the Golf Association of Philly, the gap. Let's bring up our round three contestants. Come on up, Eric and Mario. Come on up, guys. This team not very happy with the fact that I gave a hint, but I'm going to give you guys one back. All right? All right, here we go. According to Breaking80.com, what are the five best golf courses to play in Philadelphia? Mario. Pine Valley Golf Club. Pine Valley Golf Club. Who gets to play that? Not on the board. <laughs> well, I'm not allowed in, Pine Valley. So Can you repeat Eric, the question? Uh, according to Breaking80.com, what are the five best golf courses to play in Philadelphia? Remember your members. Overbrook Golf Club. Overbrook Golf <laughs> He's the pro there. But it's not on the board. I'm sorry, Eric. I want so close. I yeah. wanted to put this just for you. All right, Mark. Uh, Marion Golf Club. Marion Golf Club. Yes, number one. Side of the US Open. Aronimink. Aronimink is number five. He's rolling. Go ahead, Mark. Three more. Philadelphia Cricket Club. Philadelphia Cricket Club. Oh, third on the list. He's looking to sweep. Cobbs Creek. Cobbs Creek. Really? Yeah. All right, Cobbs Creek. Is it on the board? Not on the board, Mark. Sorry. All right, Dan. I'm going to say Huntington Valley. Huntington Valley. It's a great course. It is not on the board, however. Dan. All right, Martin. Philly Country Club. Philly Country Club, another great course, but not on the board, Martin. Wow. All right, Jeff. White Marsh Valley Country Club. White Marsh Valley Country Club plays there. Not on the board, Jeff, sorry. Lindsay. How about Rolling Green? Rolling Green Golf Club. Number four. Nicely done, Lindsay. One left. Philly Country? Philly Country Club, I believe, was said already. It is not on the board. Brian, you need a hint? Uh, I can go for a hint, but uh, I, well, I, 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 I'll take it. Let's venture into, I don't know, King of Prussia area, maybe somewhere in that, in that area. Gulf Mills? Gulf Mills. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I made call. it up to these guys. Good call. Good call. Natalie. What is our current score? Well, red kind of ran away with that one. They now have 90, and the blue team has 30. All right, it's a big lead, 90 yeah. to 30. The boys got to go some in round four. We return to question about golf partners. We hope you're playing along at home. We're right here at Harris, Philadelphia. At Harris, Philadelphia, you'll find an astounding 100,000 square feet of casino excitement, including over 2,000 of the best slots in the Philly region. Play all of your favorites, such as Wheel of Fortune and Lightning Link. Golf is the great equalizer. For many, this journey is an escape from reality, a chance to be part of a team, a career opportunity. PGA Reach impacts lives through golf by lifting people up, giving them hope, and sending them down an alternate path that they never saw coming. With PGA Reach Philadelphia, as in life, and in golf, the most important shot you take is the next one. All right, welcome back to the Philly Feud from Harris, Philadelphia, where you can eat, drink, Watch and wager on your favorite professional sporting events at the region's premier sports betting experience right here at the book. All right, let's get to the final round. We've got the red team with 90. We've got the blue team with 30 as we go into round four. Still anybody's game because you got the lightning round coming up. Let's bring up our fourth contestants, Dan and Mark. All right, guys. According to Golf Digest, what makes an annoying golf partner? Dan. Talking on cell phone. Talking on the cell phone. Oh. Yep. It's number two. I'm going to say not knowing where to drive the golf cart. Not knowing where to drive the golf cart. 
That's annoying, but it's not on the list, Dan. All right, Mark. Annoying golfer, so it would be uh, someone moving during your play. Moving during your play. Not on the board. Good guess, though. All right, Jeff. Slow play. Slow play. That's a killer. That's my number one on the list. But it's not on the board, Jeff. I, I, I know. I, could I tell you? All right, Martin. Was according to Golf Digest now. Too much alcohol. Too much alcohol. Too much imbibing on the course. They don't take it seriously enough. It's a good guess. And it is annoying. But it is not on the list. All right, Brian. Uh, let's go with cheating, Mike. Cheating. Can't remember to score. Form of cheating. What did you get there? I like Five, that. and he had eight. Right? That's, yeah. that's exactly what we're talking about. Cheating is correct. All right. Go ahead, Brian. Throwing clubs? Throwing clubs. Very annoying, but not on the board, Ryan. Okay. Go according to Golf Digest, Lindsay, what makes an annoying golf partner? Uh, sandbagging. Sandbagging on the handicap. Boom. You know some sandbaggers? I do. Yeah. You know what happens usually? They'll get seven, eight coming in after they play well. It bugs you. All right, go ahead, Lindsay. Um, how about um, coaching, on, coaching your swing? Unsolicited swing advice. That's pretty good. Boom. The number one answer from Lindsay. <laughs> All right, there's, there's one left. Walking in your lie. Walking in your lie. That's annoying also. Not on the board. All right, Eric. One left. I'm out of hints. <laughs> annoying. What makes an annoying golf partner? How about showing up late? Showing up late. Totally annoying because you get to tee off time. Slated. You get the guys there. They're not there. And it's not on the board. Sorry. All right. Mario. Doesn't know the rules. Doesn't know the rules. All right, is that on the board? That is not on the board. All right, there's one left. This annoys me to no end. It's gonna annoy everybody here. Number four is Mulligan Guy. Hits a drive, breakfast ball, and you know, totally annoying. All right, Nat, you tally up the score. What do we have here? Yes, we have the blue team now with 50 and the red team with 110. 110 to 50, still a 60 point lead. But the lightning round is next. The team that's behind has a chance to come back. 200 points are on the board. Which of our teams will come out as champions? We'll find out next from the Philly Duke from the Book of Harris, Philadelphia. our Philly Golf Association will be our Philly Feud winner. It's time for the lightning round. Designated player has one minute to give clues about 10 items related to the Philadelphia area. You cannot say any part of the name, place, or thing in your clues. You'll be disqualified by Natalie. Yes. She'll be the judge. She'll keep the time. Each correct response worth 20 points this round determines the winner of our contest. All right, let's bring up the team that's behind. The blue team trails. Come on up, guys. 110 to 50. All right, who's giving the clues? Right. All right. You guys know how this works, right, Brian? I believe so, Mike. All right, are you ready to roll? 
Let's do it. You have one minute starting right now. Go. Uh, Bernie from on Mike's show. No. Um, town uh, off 476. Um, you play the uh, William, William Hyman classic there. Huntington Valley. Um, the scholarship gap runs. Woody Jay Wood Platt. Jay Wood Platt, correct. Two. Um, not birdie, not par, but. Bogey. Bogey. Bogey's correct. Um, Huntington Valley, the, the torment name. Hyman. Hi William, Hyman, William Hyman is correct. Um, off the hosel of the club. Shank. Shank is um, correct. The ball uh, curves out of the hole. What's that called? Lip out. Lip out's correct. Uh, best course in the area. Riverbrook. Pine Valley. Pine Valley. Um, that's good. Pick it up. What is that? Gimme. Gimme's correct. Um, uh, great golfer, a gap. Um, amateur golfer. Frank McFadden. Uh, Ten pass. seconds. Um, Ten seconds. Yeah. Osberg. Town in uh, near Ronamink, uh, uh, St. Town. Devons. Everything. Second letter in the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, oh, that's, that's time. Good. All right, time. Not bad. Not bad, these guys. Uh, Nat, what did they get? Did they get seven there? I have uh, eight for a, eight. To a total. They got eight? Of, yes, for a, wow. to a total of 210 points. All right, so you guys have 210 now. You have taken the lead. Nice job. Is it over? Did we win? No, you did not win. Okay. It is 210 to 110. Seven. You have a 100-point lead. All right, let's bring up our members of the red team. All right, you guys saw that. It was easy, right? Very easy, <laughs> simple. Right. Martin, pressure's on. You need, I believe, six correct answers to win. Okay. Are you ready for the challenge? Or we can have for a yeah. recount. We could ask for right. a recount. Right, <laughs> you could do that. You'd be turned down by the commissioner. <laughs> so if you pass something, you can always go back to it. You have okay. 60 seconds to get them all. Are you ready? We're go, starting now. Section office. Springhouse. Springhouse. Springhouse, correct. Uh, Mark was a member there. Cricket Club. Cricket Club is correct. Uh, before Birdie. Uh, uh, Eagle. Eagle's correct. Huntington Valley, former section president. Jack Conley. Jack, Conley. Jack Conley's correct. Our uh, rules guru from Kenny. Tom, Tom Carpus. Carpus. Tom Carpus is correct. Uh, better than an eagle. Double eagle. Double eagle. Albatross. Albatross is correct. Not a hook. Slice. Slice. Slice is correct. Uh, by our house in Ardmore. Marion. Marion East is correct. Uh, you in the rules of golf there isn't one, but if you make a mistake. Mulligan. Mulligan is correct. Gap Hall of Famer from Marion Haverford High School. Won the U.S. Senior, o senior Amateur, Quinn Spitzer's best friend. Ten Buddy Marucci. Ten Marucci. seconds, Buddy Marucci's correct. <laughs> they swept the board. They did. 200 points. Yep. Oh my God. They win in a round. Yes, they do. Our winning team Come gets $100 on, gift certificates have been just delivered or a $100 gift card from Eddie Meese and our Harris coupon book. We hope you enjoyed tonight's showdown. Thanks to everyone who made this show possible. We'll see you next time as we search for the most, who knows the most about Philadelphia, right here on the Philly Food in the Book at Harris, Philadelphia. Philly Feud is brought to you by Harris, Philadelphia, where Philly comes out to play.